mysterious realms. Seahorses, welcome to the magical realm of seahorses. These tiny creatures are like underwater knights, gracefully gliding through the seagrass. Did you know that it's the daddy seahorse who carries the babies? Jellyfish! Drift with us into the enchanting world of jellyfish, the dancers of the deep, and their translucent bodies glow in the dark, creating a mesmerizing light show. But uh, beware, some of them can sting! Manatees! Slowly, we approach the gentle giants of the sea, the manatees. These herbivores graze on underwater plants and are known for their friendly nature. They might just be the teddy bears of the ocean. Angelfish. Peek at the vibrant angelfish, fluttering like colorful butterflies in the warm tropical waters. And their striking patterns and hues make them the artists of the underwater canvas. Hammerhead sharks. Hold on tight as we dive into the mysterious world of hammerhead sharks. With their unique head shape, these predators are excellent hunters, but don't worry, they usually prefer fish over humans. Sea Dragons! Journey into the mesmerizing realm of sea dragons! These fascinating creatures, resembling mythical beings, gracefully navigate the ocean with their ornate, leaf-like appendages. A true spectacle of underwater fantasy. Cuttlefish. Meet the masters of disguise, the cuttlefish. With the ever of their ability to change colors and patterns instantly, they are the true chameleons of the sea. Watch closely as they communicate and mesmerize with their vivid displays. Blobfish Descend into the depths where you might encounter the peculiar blobfish. Mm. Despite its droopy appearance, this unique fish is perfectly adapted to the extreme pressures of the deep sea. Our looks can indeed be deceiving. Sea urchins. Venture to the ocean floor and discover the spiky wonders known as sea urchins. These tiny architects play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. Watch out for those spines. They're nature's own underwater porcupines. Lanternfish! Behold the twinkling lights of the lanternfish, illuminating the inky blackness. These bioluminescent wonders use their glowing bodies to communicate, navigate, and even attract mates in the vast ocean dark be Flying fish. 
soar above the waves and witness the incredible flying fish. These finned aviators leap out of the water, gliding through the air to evade predators. A breathtaking display of nature's ingenious adaptations. Our nautical adventure concludes, but remember, the ocean is a treasure trove of wonders. Keep your eyes wide open, for every wave may bring a new surprise from the deep blue sea. Until our next aquatic escapade, happy exploring! Hello, little farmers. Today we're taking a trip to the farm to meet some incredible animals. Are you ready for a barnyard adventure? Chickens! Meet our feathered friends, the chickens. They provide us with eggs and love to scratch around the farmyard. Pigs. Now say hello to the playful pigs. Did you know pigs are really smart? They're like the little geniuses of the farm. Cows. Movie over to the cows. These gentle giants give us milk, which we turn into yummy things like cheese and butter. Sheep. Now let's visit the woolly wonders, the sheep. They provide us with cozy wool for sweaters and blankets. Horses! And trotting into view are our loyal companions, the horses. They help farmers with work and are fantastic friends. So, little farmers, what have we discovered on our farmyard adventure? Chickens give us eggs. That's right. And who can tell me something about pigs? Pigs are really smart. Excellent. Our farm friends are full of surprises. Now, who's ready for more farm fun in our next lesson? Ducks. Quack! Quack! Say hello to our webbed feet friends, the ducks! They love to splash in the pond and are great at catching insects. Goats. Leaping onto the scene are the energetic goats. They're excellent climbers and love munching on grass and leaves. Bees. Now, let's explore the tiny superheroes of the farm. The bees. They're busy pollinating flowers and making sweet honey. Donkeys. Bravo! It's time to meet the delightful donkeys. They have big ears and loud voices but are as friendly as can be. Rabbits. Hippity hop! Our furry friends the rabbits have joined the adventure. They love nibbling on carrots and hopping through the fields. Wow, we've met so many farm friends today. Who can tell me something special about ducks or bees? Ducks like to splash in the pond. Bees make honey by pollinating flowers. Excellent. Our farm friends are full of surprises. Now, who's ready for more farm fun in our next lesson? You're all doing an amazing job, little farmers. Now let's continue our exploration of the farm and meet some more farmyard friends. Are you ready? Turkeys. Gobble, gobble! Our feathered friends, the turkeys, are here to join the party. Did you know that turkeys can puff up their feathers to look bigger? Lambs. Brilliant! It's time to meet the fluffy and adorable lambs. They love to play and are always full of energy. Geese. Honk, honk! Joining the farm chorus are the geese. They're excellent guards, alerting us when someone unfamiliar is around. Guinea fowl. Look who's strutting in with their spotted style. The guinea fowl. They're excellent bug catchers, helping keep the farmyard insect free. Quail. Tiny but terrific. Our feathered friends, the quail. They're great runners and can fly short distances. Our farm family is growing, and you're becoming expert farm explorers. Who can tell me something interesting about lambs or guinea fowl? Guinea fowl are great bug catchers. Lambs love to play in the meadow. I love your enthusiasm, little farmers. Get ready for our next farm lesson where we'll explore even more farmyard wonders. Until then, keep being curious and loving our farm friends. Thanks for being part of our farmyard adventure, everyone. Keep exploring, and we'll see you on our next fantastic farm lesson. Bye for now. Hello, my little friends. Today we will learn the English letters and an example of each letter. A is for apple. It's the star team. 
ant. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! B is for ball. Let's play and dart. Banana. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! C is for cat. With a meow. So sweet. Car. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! D is for dog. Wagging to greet. Duck! Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! D is for elephant. Big and gray. Egg. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! F is for frog leaping away. Fish. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! G is for guitar, strumming a song. Giraffe. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! H is for hat, wear it along. Horse. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! I am for ice cream, a tasty delight. Ice. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! K is for kite, flying high. Koala. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! L is for lion, roaring in the sky. Lemon. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! M is for moon, shining at night. Monkey. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! N is for nest, a bird's cozy site. Nurse! Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! O is for owl hooting in the trees. Orange. O Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! P is for penguin, sliding with ease. Panda. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! Q is for queen in a royal gown. Quail. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! R is for rainbow, colors all around. Rabbit. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! S is for sun, warm and bright. Shark. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! T is for train, a thrilling sight. Turtle. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! U is for umbrella in the rain. Uncle. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! V is for violin. Play a sweet refrain. Van. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! W is for whale in the deep sea. Watch. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! X is for xylophone with a joyful key. X-ray. Can you say the letter and examples? 
great job! Y is for yellow, a bright, happy hue. Yacht. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! Z is for zebra, stripes so true. Zoo. Can you say the letter and examples? Great job! Now we know the letters. From beginning to end, A plus E are the letters we rely on. Now let us sing together the letters from A to Z. Learn letters. Come with pleasure. Now you know them all, my friend. Alphabet journey without end. Goodbye. A is for apple, it's the start. B is for ball, let's play and dart. C is for cat, with a meow so sweet. D is for duck, wagging to greet. Sing along from A to Z. Learn the letters, come with glee. E is for elephant, big and gray. F is for frog. Leaping away G is for guitar Strumming a song H is for hat Wear it along I am for ice cream A tasty delight J is for jump So light Sing along From A to Z Learn the letters Come with glee K is for kite Fly high. L is for lion roaring in the sky. M is for moon shining at night. N is for nest, a bird's cozy sight. O is for owl hooting in the trees. P is for pen one sliding with ease. Sing along from A to Z. Learn the letters, come with glee. Q is for queen in a royal gown. R is for rainbow colors all around. S is for sun, warm and bright. T is for train, a thrilling sight. U is for umbrella in the rain. V is for violin, play a sweet refrain. Sing along from A to Z. Learn the letters, come with glee. W is for whale in the deep sea. X is for xylophone with a joyful key. Y is for yellow, a bright, happy hue. C is for zebra, stripes so true. Now we've sung from start to end. A, B, C, S are letters on which we depend. Sing along from A to Z. Learn the letters, come with glee. Now you know them all, my friend. The alphabet journey without an end. Hello, little friends. Today we will learn about the amazing animals of the forest. Let's start with the lion, the king of the jungle. It has a thick mane and roars loudly. <coughs> Say with me, lion. Lion. Great job. Now, let's meet the monkey, who loves to play and jump among the trees. Say with me, monkey. Monkey. Great job! Now, let's learn about the owl, waking up at night and seeing well in the darkness. Can you say owl? Owl! Great job! Here comes the tiger! Can you say a tiger? Tiger! Great job! 
We've had a fantastic journey into the world of forest animals. You are true champions. Are you ready to test your knowledge? What are the animals that live in the forest? Great job. Great job. Great job. We want to see your beautiful jungle animal artwork. Share it with us using the channel's forum, and we will show it in a special clip for you. Thank you. Goodbye, friends. See you next time for more fun and learning. All right, future marine biologists. Today, we're going on an adventure to discover incredible sea animals. Are you ready? Our first stop is the ocean, where amazing creatures live. Let's dive in. Meet our finned friends. Fish come in all shapes and sizes. Some, like clownfish, live in colorful coral reefs. Look up, and you might see majestic whales. They're the largest animals on Earth. A blue whale's heart is so big that a human could swim through its arteries. How amazing is that? Who here loves dolphins? They're not only smart, but also super playful. Now let's talk about our clever friends, dolphins. They love to show off their acrobatic skills and communicate with each other using whistles and clicks. Time to meet some toothy friends, sharks. Contrary to popular belief, most sharks are not interested in bothering humans. They play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy balance in the ocean. And here come the sharks. Did you know they play a crucial role in keeping the ocean balanced? Time for a quick quiz, explorers. What do we call the largest animals on Earth that live in the ocean? Is it A, dolphins, B, whales, or C, sharks? Great job, explorers. The correct answer is B, whales. Whales are the gentle giants of the ocean. Now let's dive into the mysterious world of octopuses. These clever cephalopods can change color and texture to blend in with their surroundings. They even have three hearts. Get ready to meet the stealthy and intelligent members of the deep, the Squid Squad. Squids have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom and can change color instantly. It's like having built-in camouflage goggles. I have a question for you. What is the difference between squid and octopus? Find the answer yourself. Now, let's talk about seahorses. They're tiny and love to hold onto things with their tails. Be cautious around jellyfish. They might look beautiful, but some can sting. Remember, explorers, every small action counts in keeping our oceans healthy. Even simple things like using less plastic can make a big difference. Thanks for joining us, explorers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting ocean adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and protecting our amazing ocean friends. Bye for now. Uh, hello kids, welcome to Discovering Animals. Today, we're going to learn about some amazing animals in both Arabic and English. Are you ready? Let's get started. Our first animal is the lion. In Arabic, we say Asad, and in English, it's a lion. Can you say lion in both languages? Great job. Asad. Lion. Now, let's meet the elephant. In Arabic, it's feel, and in English, it's an elephant. Can you say elephant in both languages? Great job! Repeat after me, elephant, feel. Great job! Our next animal is the fish. In Arabic, we say samak. And in English, it's a fish. Can you say fish in both languages? Great job! Say with me, fish. Samak. Great job! Now let's talk about the giraffe. In Arabic, it's zarafa, and in English, it's a giraffe. 
Repeat with me, giraffe. Zarafa. Great job! Can you say giraffe in both languages? Great job! Our final animal is the butterfly. In Arabic, it's farasha. And in English, it's a butterfly. Say with me, butterfly. Farasha. Great job! Can you say farsha in both languages? Great job! Who can remember how to say lion in Arabic? Wait for responses. That's right. And in English? Wait for responses. Excellent. Great job, everyone! Today we discovered lions, elephants, fish, giraffes, and butterflies in both Arabic and English. Now keep exploring the wonderful world of animals. Until next time! Here's a challenge for you until we meet again. Uh, learn the names of three new animals in both Arabic and English. Share them with us, and you might get a special mention in our next episode. Keep learning, and I can't wait to see what you discover. Let's wrap up our animal adventure with a fun song. Sing along and dance to the beat as we celebrate the wonderful world of animals in both Arabic and English. Lion, bill, fish, giraffe, butterfly, a sad feel, summer, seraphim. Let's all dance and sing It's an animal thing In the forest Hear the roar A lion's mane He wore it proudly the elephant has a long trunk In the wild where they belong The lion, the elephant The very true friends At the zoo or the sky is so blue Animals large and small Let's sing together one by one A giraffe with a very long and large neck On the grassy plains they stand And the fish swims gracefully In the embrace of the vast ocean A sad feels to friends In the forest we meet all the time Small and large animals Let's sing together Everyone Brightly colored butterfly Dancing in the soft sunlight And the butterfly so light and free In the park a sight to see A sad feels to friends At the zoo or blue sky Small and large animals Let's sing together, everyone In this song there is a story we weave Between friends in the air, on land and at sea Let us cherish nature far and wide With every beat our hearts live Lion, bill, fish, giraffe, butterfly, a sad feel, stomach, seraphim, farasha. Animals are cool in any language. Let's all dance and sing. It's an animal.
Uh, hello kids, welcome to Discovering Animals. Today, we're going to learn about some amazing animals in both Arabic and English. Are you ready? Let's get started. Our first animal is the lion. In Arabic, we say Asad, and in English, it's a lion. Can you say lion in both languages? Great job. Asad, lion. Now, let's meet the elephant. In Arabic, it's feel, and in English, it's an elephant. Can you say elephant in both languages? Great job! Repeat after me. Elephant. Feel. Great job! Our next animal is the fish. In Arabic, we say samak. And in English, it's a fish. Can you say fish in both languages? Great job! Say with me, fish, sama. Great job! Now let's talk about the giraffe. In Arabic, it's zarafa, and in English, it's a giraffe. Repeat with me, giraffe. Zarafa. Great job! Can you say giraffe in both languages? Great job! Our final animal is the butterfly. In Arabic, it's farasha, and in English, it's a butterfly. Say with me, butterfly. Farasha. Great job! Can you say Farsha in both languages? Great job! Who can remember how to say lion in Arabic? Wait for responses. That's right. And in English? Wait for responses. Excellent! Great job, everyone! Today we discovered lions, elephants, fish, giraffes, and butterflies in both Arabic and English. Now keep exploring the wonderful world of animals. Until next time. Here's a challenge for you until we meet again. Uh, learn the names of three new animals in both Arabic and English. Share them with us and you might get a special mention in our next episode. Keep learning and I can't wait to see what you discover. Let's wrap up our animal adventure with a fun song. Sing along and dance to the beat as we celebrate the wonderful world of animals in both Arabic and English. Lion, bill, fish, giraffe, butterfly, a sad feel, On the grassy plains they stand And the fish swims gracefully In the embrace of the vast ocean 
I said, fields to friends In the forest we meet all the time Small and large animals Let's sing together, everyone Brightly colored butterfly Dancing in the soft sunlight And the butterfly so light and free In the park, a sight to see A sad feels to friends At the zoo or blue sky Small and large animals Let's sing together, everyone In this song there is a story we weave Between friends in the air, on land and at sea Let us cherish nature far and wide With every beat our hearts live Hello little ocean explorers! Today, we're diving deep into the sea to meet some incredible friends. Are you ready to learn the names of these amazing sea animals? Let's get started! Our first friends are dolphins. Can you say dolphins? They're super smart and love to swim and play. Watch them flip and dance in the ocean waves. Say it with me. Dolphins. 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 Now let's meet the calm and wise sea turtles. They move gracefully through the water, and some even travel across the oceans. Can you repeat after me? Sea turtles! Sea turtles! Great job! Our next friend has arms that look like rays of sunshine. It's the starfish! Say it with me. Starfish! Starfish! Great job! Now let's say hello to the clever octopus. Can you try? Octopus. They have eight arms and are really good at hiding. Octopus. Great job! Brace yourselves, explorers. Here comes the mighty shark. Can you shout it out? Shark! They are strong and swift, ruling the ocean with their fantastic presence. Shark! Great job! Great job, little ocean explorers. You've learned the names of some fantastic sea animals today. Keep exploring and discovering the wonders of the deep blue sea. Until next time, happy ocean adventures. Welcome to the enchanting world beneath the waves, where a diverse array of marine life captivates our imagination. Today, we'll embark on a journey to discover six fascinating marine animals that call the ocean home. Firstly, behold the seahorse, a creature that seems to defy gravity with its upright posture. These magical beings are a symbol of patience and grace as they navigate the vibrant coral gardens. Secondly, the dolphin is a symbol of intelligence and agility. Dolphins are highly social creatures, known for their playful disposition and complex communication skills. Third, the sea turtle. A gentle giant of the ocean has roamed the seas for millions of years. These ancient mariners travel incredible distances, embodying resilience and endurance. Fourthly, enter the vibrant world of the clownfish, where colors dance beneath the water's surface. These small, spirited fish are famous for their symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. Fifth, meet the orca, the ocean's apex predator. With their striking black and white markings, these intelligent creatures showcase remarkable teamwork and hunting strategies in their pursuit of prey. Sixth, our journey concludes with the elusive giant squid, a mysterious denizen of the deep. With eyes the size of basketballs and long, winding tentacles, this creature remains a symbol of the ocean's enigmatic depths. Finally, the ocean is a treasure trove of wonders and these six marine animals are just a glimpse into its extraordinary biodiversity. Join us again as we continue to explore the marvels that lie beneath the surface of the world's oceans. For more videos, click like and subscribe and write to us in the comments if you would like to know other animals. Greetings, intrepid explorers. 
Prepare for a captivating voyage as we delve into the depths once again, unveiling the secrets of more extraordinary inhabitants of the ocean's mysterious realms. Seahorses, welcome to the magical realm of seahorses. These tiny creatures are like underwater knights, gracefully gliding through the seagrass. Did you know that it's the daddy seahorse who carries the babies? Jellyfish! Drift with us into the enchanting world of jellyfish, the dancers of the deep. And their translucent bodies glow in the dark, creating a mesmerizing light show. But uh, beware, some of them can sting! Manatees! Slowly, we approach the gentle giants of the sea. The manatees! These herbivores graze on underwater plants and are known for their friendly nature. They might just be the teddy bears of the ocean. Angelfish. Peek at the vibrant angelfish, fluttering like colorful butterflies in the warm tropical waters. And their striking patterns and hues make them the artists of the underwater canvas. Hammerhead sharks. Hold on tight as we dive into the mysterious world of hammerhead sharks. With their unique head shape, these predators are excellent hunters, but don't worry, they usually prefer fish over humans. Sea Dragons! Journey into the mesmerizing realm of sea dragons! These fascinating creatures, resembling mythical beings, gracefully navigate the ocean with their ornate, leaf-like appendages. A true spectacle of underwater fantasy. Cuttlefish. Meet the masters of disguise, the cuttlefish. With the proof of their ability to change colors and patterns instantly, they are the true chameleons of the sea. Watch closely as they communicate and mesmerize with their vivid displays. Blobfish Descend into the depths where you might encounter the peculiar blobfish. Mm. Despite its droopy appearance, this unique fish is perfectly adapted to the extreme pressures of the deep sea. Our looks can indeed be deceiving. Sea urchins. Venture to the ocean floor and discover the spiky wonders known as sea urchins. These tiny architects play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. Watch out for those spines. They're nature's own underwater porcupines. Lanternfish! Behold the twinkling lights of the lanternfish, illuminating the inky blackness. These bioluminescent wonders use their glowing bodies to communicate, navigate, and even attract mates in the vast ocean dark be
flying fish. Soar above the waves and witness the incredible flying fish. These finned aviators leap out of the water, gliding through the air to evade predators. A breathtaking display of nature's ingenious adaptations. Our nautical adventure concludes, but remember, the ocean is a treasure trove of wonders. Keep your eyes wide open, for every wave may bring a new surprise from the deep blue sea. Until our next aquatic escapade, happy exploring! Hello, little farmers. Today we're taking a trip to the farm to meet some incredible animals. Are you ready for a barnyard adventure? Chickens! Meet our feathered friends, the chickens. They provide us with eggs and love to scratch around the farmyard. Pigs. Now say hello to the playful pigs. Did you know pigs are really smart? They're like the little geniuses of the farm. Cows. Movie over to the cows. These gentle giants give us milk, which we turn into yummy things like cheese and butter. Sheep. Now let's visit the woolly wonders, the sheep. They provide us with cozy wool for sweaters and blankets. Horses! And trotting into view are our loyal companions, the horses. They help farmers with work and are fantastic friends. So, little farmers, what have we discovered on our farmyard adventure? Chickens give us eggs. That's right. And who can tell me something about pigs? Pigs are really smart. Excellent. Our farm friends are full of surprises. Now, who's ready for more farm fun in our next lesson? Ducks. Quack! Quack! Say hello to our webbed feet friends, the ducks! They love to splash in the pond and are great at catching insects. Goats. Leaping onto the scene are the energetic goats. They're excellent climbers and love munching on grass and leaves. Bees. Now, let's explore the tiny superheroes of the farm. The bees. They're busy pollinating flowers and making sweet honey. Donkeys. Bravo! It's time to meet the delightful donkeys. They have big ears and loud voices but are as friendly as can be. Rabbits. Hippity hop! Our furry friends the rabbits have joined the adventure. They love nibbling on carrots and hopping through the fields. Wow, we've met so many farm friends today. Who can tell me something special about ducks or bees? Ducks like to splash in the pond. Bees make honey by pollinating flowers. Excellent. Our farm friends are full of surprises. Now, who's ready for more farm fun in our next lesson? You're all doing an amazing job, little farmers. Now let's continue our exploration of the farm and meet some more farmyard friends. Are you ready? Turkeys. Gobble, gobble! Our feathered friends, the turkeys, are here to join the party. Did you know that turkeys can puff up their feathers to look bigger? Lambs. Brilliant! It's time to meet the fluffy and adorable lambs. They love to play and are always full of energy. Geese. Honk, honk! Joining the farm chorus are the geese. They're excellent guards, alerting us when someone unfamiliar is around. Guinea fowl. Look who's strutting in with their spotted style. The guinea fowl. They're excellent bug catchers, helping keep the farmyard insect free. Quail. Tiny but terrific. Our feathered friends, the quail. They're great runners and can fly short distances. Our farm family is growing, and you're becoming expert farm explorers. Who can tell me something interesting about lambs or guinea fowl? Guinea fowl are great bug catchers. Lambs love to play in the meadow. I love your enthusiasm, little farmers. Get ready for our next farm lesson where we'll explore even more farmyard wonders. Until then, keep being curious and loving our farm friends. Thanks for being part of our farmyard adventure, everyone. Keep exploring, and we'll see you on our next fantastic farm lesson. Bye for now.